Start us off with an opening statement, please. Uh, I'd like to congratulate Kennesaw State on winning the regional. I think they'll be a good representative. Uh, got a good team. They played really hard and uh, did a really excellent job. Uh, I thought our guys today, you know, battled uh, extremely hard. And, uh, you know, like, like everybody at this point in the tournament, you're a little down on pitching. But I thought Jay Shaw did a really good job as a reliever for us to give us, you know, five innings. And then Thomas uh, came in. And, you know, stretched him out and did a nice job as well. And offensively, uh, you know, it took us a little while. We started to put a few swings on it, and uh, we hit some balls okay at him. And, uh, you know, highly disappointed in the last inning, the way the game ended. Uh, I mean, I thought we had an opportunity right there with guys on first and second, and Overstreet's working a really good at bat, and then that's a ball, and it's a flat-out ball. And uh, the, the ball has was not called uh, a ball off the plate the entire day. And uh, so very disappointed in that last call there that we didn't get another pitch to fight with. And uh, so I, th I think that's uh, disappointing for our team uh, that we didn't have that last pitch because we can do, still do a lot of damage with, it with one more pitch. So. Questions for coach or players? Mitch, was, you guys have been rolling so well those, those last two three games offensively, like left 13 on. Was it just back to not getting those timely hits? Well, I, you know, I, some of that. I mean, you know, we had the inning there that they really helped us and hit us and walked us and left bases loaded. And, uh, and they came in with a tough matchup, you know, with the submarine guy. And uh, he made some quality pitches, both to Wade and, and Smitty. And, uh, you know, we didn't take advantage of it. And then... Uh, but then, you know, we kind of got going a little bit, and uh, we hit some balls pretty good at them uh, through there, and just just, you know, just couldn't find any grass today with it. So uh, it was a little combination of both, but I thought our guys were ready to play, and you know, I was pretty pleased with the approach overall today. Mitch, you guys only able to score your, your two runs in, in that one inning, and uh, all they got six hits, just a matter of not getting the hits at the right time and not, not producing the offense. Yeah, a combination, and, and I thought they, you know, they pitched well, and I think you got to tip your hat to Kennesaw. I thought that they gave us a lot of different combinations, and uh, they, they've got a really good bullpen, and they brought back Bergen, who, you know, really stuffed us on Friday. He came back, you know, and hats off to him to come back after the number of pitches he threw to come back and give him, uh, I think he went, uh, what, three and a third. I mean, that's... That's pretty strong for a guy that you know threw on Friday, and uh, but you know they threw a lot of they threw a lot of strikes, particularly after the first couple innings, and uh, you know it was a combination of both. Though to answer your question, I, you know I thought they did a good job, and, and uh, you know this game's built on timely hits, and, and when you get them, you typically win. When you don't, uh, you know it's tough. Then what what was Bergen able to do between Saturday and today? guys all balance it up. I uh, just, you know, working the bottom of the zone, going strikes. He, uh, you know, it was all around the zone, did a good job of, you know, not, you know, not getting us any hitters. Uh, you know, looking back, it's easy now, but in terms of that, the at-match Pentecost in the seventh there, I know you guys had success against them all week, but, uh, you know, you had with the open base. So I imagine there was a conversation about that. There was, and we, you know, we have a term that's called pattern three, which is where we want to try to stay off the plate on that and uh, you know it was uh, just one of those situations that uh, you know we, we wanted to stick a little farther off the plate and, and the ball was down he did a good job he stayed on it and, uh, and uh, you know got, got a big hit right there but uh, yeah I think if we go back you know at that point we would we would probably either put him on or, or just maybe even take a visit right there and, and make sure we're off the plate in that situation. Mitch, how about big picture just with this team and, and uh, you know, maybe see solace in the fact that the way they played here at the end of the season and, and just reflecting on the, on the year. Yeah, you know, this team has been, uh, quite honestly, has been very frustrating uh, because I know there's a lot of talent in this group and it's been a hard working group. I don't, the frustration's not on that side. Uh, I think for players as well, you know, when we went into our funk there for about a month, uh, it was never about effort, you know, I think it was just uh, about the level of play at times.
times for us. And uh, but I really thought, you know, here in the last two days, uh, we really became the team that I uh, thought we would. And I was really proud of the group yesterday and the way they fought, grinded, a couple guys stepping up for us on the mound. And uh, it's a it's a great group of guys that, that have worked extremely hard since August. And uh, disappointing the fate wasn't a little better here today for them. And, but, uh, but, but these guys deserve a lot of credit. They, there was a lot of good things they did this year for the program. I and mean, they got as high as ranked eight, you know, and you, you go through the course of the year, our attendance really picked up. And I think that was big from watching these guys, the way they played. And uh, so, you know, big picture, I'm, I'm proud of the group. Uh, we've had, a, we certainly had our up and downs this year. Uh, but, I, you know, the, the character of this team, uh, I never question. Uh, we've got great kids that, that do things the right way. And, uh, and you know, a lot of guys that are going to continue to be in our program and continue to build on, on uh, you know, what we have right now. And, and uh, but big picture is I'm, I'm proud of the group and, and very thankful for the, the way they handled this year. You got a lot coming back, depending, I guess, on what the draft is. Yeah, you know, and you never know. We've got some, some key pieces, some juniors that, uh, you know, we, we hope those kids go really high and, and get an opportunity. And, and uh, But at the same time, if they don't, uh, we certainly want them back. And, uh, but, you know, we've got a really good freshman and sophomore group. We know it's going to be returning. Uh, we've got a, a nice recruiting class coming in. And, you know, we'll know a lot more here in about a week as far as the draft and see just what, which one of those pieces will more than likely sign and which ones will be back with us. Thomas, take, take us through. I mean, this is the longest outing you had all year. Uh, you know, how, how you were feeling out there as the game went on. <clears throat> well, I was just trying to go one inning at a time and uh, keep giving the offense uh, chances. Uh, they put a few good swings on balls and uh, had a few key hits and then I got this and one out there in the center field and scored a run. They did a good job in the ball play and not striking out. Any more questions? Thank you.